Welcome to this equinox ritual here in Sweden. Um, equinox rituals and solstice rituals are part of a solar cycle. So there's four crucial uh, points in the solar cycle. Those are the two solstices, the winter solstice and the summer solstice. And of lesser importance are the equinoxes. Uh, equinox comes from Latin equi equal nox night. So it is the time when the night is of equal length to the day. It's not exactly equal because the uh, atmosphere of the earth tends to bend the light a little. So it is light slightly longer but close enough. What we find is that the two equinoxes they divide on the northern and southern hemisphere the light season from the dark season. And this is also the significance of an equinox, that there is a balance between forces, a balance between light and dark, day and night, male and female. And uh, at these moments where things are in balance, it is very easy to contact the other side, to harmonize with the uh, other powers. Um, the solstices are very different in nature. The summer solstice is really about the full power, the full strength of the light of the sun. And the winter solstice is about the return of the light. When dark days stop darkening and start becoming more light. Uh, traditionally the uh, spring equinox also heralds the start of the new year. When life starts to reawaken and nature starts to reactivate. So it is very much the transition of the dark time, which is also the passive time where nature sleeps, into the active time where nature reawakens. If we translate this to the nature religions, it is also the time uh, of the young god. So the earth itself is seen as feminine, as the goddess, and when the young god is with her, she falls in love, she becomes enamored. And as people are who uh, fall in love, they have boundless energy. They jump with joy, they show their beauty, they show their best qualities. And this is also the significance of the uh, spring equinox. That we also want to reawaken our powers, to show our beauty, to share our talents and to waken from this long slumber of winter which we have been in. To do an equinox ritual I would advise people to also look a little bit at the videos and uh, articles I uh, made on doing rituals in general and doing prayers in general. Um, the structure of the equinox ritual uh, is that we make several journeys. And these are meditative journeys. So uh, we start with a journey from the east to the south, then the west, then the north. So we're going around and we do this three times. So it's a spiral leading us more and more inward to our own source to really feel what do we have to give, what do we have to share, what is the seed in us which wants to come to life this spring. And once we've reached the center, we start again with our journey outward. As our green seed starts to mature and gets ready to manifest out into the world. So it is very much a ritual of purification in the first half, in the second half, there it is a ritual of power, of manifestation. This is a ritual walk which can be repeated several times and every time you do it, you try to go deeper and more pure into the purification process and you can try to go deeper and find more strength, more talents, more power to share with the world around you. So in the next part of the video, we will walk and meditate together in this ritual space.